Yo, Yo Chance, Chance of the Bacon, and welcome back to Legendary Adventures. My name is Eli, aka that Big Sauce Gamer Tag. And I'm Becky, aka Small Fry. And we are here to bring you the Articuno Raid Counters. Now, if this is your first time dropping by the channel, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, smash the notification bell, as we here at Legendary Adventures like to go ahead and bring you the Pokemon Go Raid Counters, the Pokemon Go Community Day New tips and tricks, and right. of course, news and updates. And not to mention, the piece of resistance of the Pokemon Go vlogs. We are here because it is time for Articuno to come back to the raid. Yes. Then, the opportunity to go ahead and get yourself a shiny. Cue in the air horns. <laughs> the Hundo. Ooh. The Shundo. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So, as we know, Articuno. Double weakness to rock. That means it's a rock boy type game. But before we dive into the exact counters and their moves, let's go ahead and discuss, you know, what you know about Articuno. Articuno being one of the legendary birds, one of the initial trios from way back when, is a Pokemon that is powered by snow and, and boosted by windy weather. So what are we looking for? A hundo non-weather boost. Non-weather boosted, you're looking for 1743 combat power. Okay, and of course, what are we looking for? The weather boosted one. The weather boosted one is 2179 combat power. All right, fam. So if you happen to be playing somewhere where the, there is a weather boosted Articuno, go ahead and send us those invites. We would love to go ahead and partake in Oh, yeah, those. and drop your friend code below if you guys want to get invites from us. And, of course, if uh, they're not weather boosted, we'll still accept them because, you know, Articuno, we want the shinies. I only have one, so I'm pumped about getting another one and hopefully a hundo. But with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the raid counters. Now, first and foremost, we love going ahead and uh, taking on the legendaries in any which way or form uh, that they come out, which doesn't matter what gen, and we love trying to duo them. We'll let you know right now. Articuno, can it be duo? No, it cannot be duo. Not even with the Megas? Not even with the Megas. All right, so. It's requirement, so, three to five trainers. You heard it from the expert right here. So do not try to duo it as you will not succeed. And of course you will lose a lot of items in the mix of it. So please, please, please look for that uh, three man squad. Go ahead and uh, do it with three high level trainers and uh, of course all their high level Pokemon or with a group of five or more. Right. But with that said, let's talk about the Rock Boys. And the Burrito Supreme, the ultimate <laughs> Supreme, the Supreme counter is... Shadow Tyranitar with a Smackdown and Stone Edge. Shadow? Shadow. So Ooh. remember, it does give a 20% attack boost. Okay, now, y'all, I do wince at this because, let's face it, to get a Shadow T-Tar is phenomenal because you only get a Shadow Larvitar from Team Rocket stops. The downside of that is that in order to go ahead and have SmackDown, you're going to need to go ahead and use... Elite Charge TM. Yeah. And For a team of six. I mean, if you have one or two, go ahead and throw them in there because they are going to deal an incredible amount of damage to Articuno. So moving on to number two, Rampardo. Now this one's easy, a little bit easier for everyone to access, right? Right, and that one's with Smackdown and Rock Slide. And that one is no surprise it's coming in at number two because it's high attack stats. This is a great one that is available to all players, but it doesn't generate as often as you would like. So the candies may be a little bit here and there, so you may not be able to build a whole army of them just yet. Unless you've been playing for, for a while now, in which case, hopefully you do have a good solid three or six. I mean, it only takes 50 candies to evolve it to from Carnados to Rampardos, so I think that's pretty doable. And then maxing them out? Walk them. <laughs> you, you heard it here first. It, when in doubt, just walk it out. Just walk <laughs> it out. Now, with that said, let's talk about Omega. Now, Woo! one of our, our, our favorites, one of our, well, my favorite, because you love, you love the X. I love the Y. Mega Charizard Y format with a fire spin and blast burn okay so we're coming in here with the fire damage not a rock boy whatsoever but it is a hot boy and or gal or hot gal why not because uh charizards are fierce and my gal should be fierce so with that said mega charizard why awesome love it now who's going in at number four Rhyperior Ooh. with smackdown and that community day move rock wrecker now that's a lovely one in itself now if you didn't get the community day move for it you can always go ahead and do that elite tm to go ahead and do so now word to the wise if you are just coming back to pogo every year niantic does a community day event in december where you can go ahead and evolve your pokemon of the current year and of past events to go ahead and get that elite move so if you haven't been able to do so yet go ahead and wait to then if you don't want to go ahead and waste those elite tms just yet but with that said, moving on to a legendary. Ooh, 
Tarakian with Woo! SmackDown and Rock Slide. Now, this Fighting Rock Boy doesn't get a lot of uh, playtime because there are already a lot of great Rock Boys, but it is a great defensive one. And if you manage to go ahead and acquire one or two during you know the time that it was out for a raise, and hopefully you got a weather boosted one, you don't really need to spend too much candy into it because it's, it does take a spot while perhaps you know the rest of the teammates bring down Articuno. So moving into number six is Shadow Amistar with Rock Throw and Rock Slide. That just sounds odd. Like I'll be honest, because Amistar in my head, I'm like I need a water move for it, but but he is a good rock type. He is a he's a and, strong rock type. Yeah, yeah, and you only need 50 candies to evolve it all the way to Amistar. So okay, it's so only that's a good one. Yeah, it's only one, one evolution, so not that many candies, and you're able to power it up pretty quickly. Now, fam, do remember that with Shadow Amistar because it is a Pokemon that well is a Shadow uh, off of Team Rocket. In order to go ahead and get frustration off, unless it's during a Team Rocket event where we can TM it off, you're gonna have to go ahead and spend that extra quiche to go ahead and unlock the the additional move in order to be able to get Rock Slide. So just be aware of that one. Moving on to number seven is Tyranitar with Smackdown and Stone Edge. Now remember, Stone Edge is a Community Day move. Once again, very important for you guys to get these Community Day move Pokemon in your collection. Very true, very true. But this is great because T Tar and stuff, even though coming in at seven, it does a lot of damage. And of course, this can fill in your, you know, not only your first team, but fill out the second team as a backup team just in case you know you're running the the raid with with few trainers as opposed to you know a whole lobby full we've covered almost everyone now here's another shadow one coming at you we have is a beast shadow metagross with bullet punch and meteor mash okay and again 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 if you do not fr tm the frustration off during the team rocket go events you have to spend to go ahead and unlock that additional move but in case you don't happen to have those some honorable mentions gigalith alolan golem and agron and then if you guys are really unsure of what type of Pokemon you guys want to like bring into the raid party, what I suggest doing is going to your Pokemon and adding at Stone Edge or at Rock Slide and see what you have there. Now, word to the wise and here's a tip. Even though when you go jump into a lobby and it says go ahead and use recommended, don't, don't. Because <laughs> it's not... It's not setting up a team that's the best for attacking. It's setting up a team that's best for defensive. And while it's great to go ahead and be able to endure the hits and, and not burn through so many Pokemon, if you are if you don't take it down at the end of the day, you're going to miss out. And you're going to have to spend a lot on reviving. And if you're building up on your way up, you may not have all the items to go ahead and do so. So do take the time to build your team. Go ahead and build your squads. Go into the battle section. And then, of course, communicate with your raid groups. Get together, link up, and take down this Articuno. Hopefully, you trainers are able to catch the Shiny, the Shundo. We want to know all about it on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram. Down in the comments below, let us know what you find out there. And if you're excited for Articuno as we are, because... Oh. I'm super hyped up about it. We this. are hyped. And with that said, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and until the next legendary adventure, peace. Peace.